Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to revamp five ordinary nursery pots into beautiful, colorful fruit planter pots. I have selected five fruits of my choice. I have used lot of shading to give the fruits a 3D effect. I am Hilda and I welcome you all to my channel Hilda Crafty. So without wasting any time, let's just dive into this video. I bought these pots from the nursery for rupees 6 each. These are small and the size of my palm. First step is to prime. Using white gesso, you can use any brand from the market. I'm using homemade gesso. I have a video on this topic, link in the description box and in the i button to check that out. Using a sponge dabber and giving a generous coat. Use a brush wherever required. Apply it on the rim and little bit on the inside as well. Do the step on the other parts as well and let dry very well. Now using Fevicryl acrylic paint. For the first spot, adding a bit of brown and white. Mix well and apply on the gesso which is absolutely dry now. Little orange in white. We do this step for the other pots, but we will use different colors so we have a lot of variety. For the third, a bit of green. The white base helps the color to pop. I have a detailed video on this topic. We'll mention the link in the description and in the i button to check that out. For the fourth, a bit of blue. The base color has to be light so that the fruits we're going to paint on this base can stand out. For the fifth, a bit of black and white and then we allow the paint to dry absolutely well before we move on to the next step. For the first pot, I decided to paint bananas. I work out every day except Sundays and having two bananas around an hour before workout gives enough energy for a 90 minute intense workout. It is loaded with potassium and carbohydrates that support muscle and nerve function. First used fairy grill acrylic golden yellow and then used lemon yellow while the paint is wet. The purpose of indicating shades and shadows in drawings is to give the object a realistic quality. Used a bit of orange, green, outline in brown and white to show the source of light and this is how it looks. Let's move on to the second pot. I'm very fond of mangoes. It's a good source of vitamin C, vitamin A, folate and a pretty high in fiber which is beneficial for colon cancer prevention, heart disease and weight control. However, I like to enjoy this fruit in moderation. Here I thought of showing a Sinduri mango which is distinct in its appearance with pleasing red, orange, yellow, green. Used all four colors and then blending them well so that there are no sharp lines. Moss green and light green for the leaves. Brown for the stalk, outline in black and this is how it looks. The third is going to be coconut. It is a good idea to first draw with a pencil. Using little white and brown to color the shell. It has a lot of essential minerals such as iron, copper, magnesium. Using a bit of black for the outline and to make the eyes. Then little white and brown to draw the fibers. It has a lot of health benefits, we'll name a few. It controls diabetes, fights aging process, rich in fiber, helps in weight loss, good for skin and hair. Using white for the meat. Then we'll add very little brown and white to show shadow for the inside part of the meat. Now we'll add little more brown to this to draw outline and this shading will leave a 3D effect. Now light green and moss green for the leaves. And of course I love to drink coconut water which is a great energy booster. I have a habit of munching on a small piece of coconut meat almost every day. We are almost done and this is how it looks. The fourth is melon also known as cantaloupe. We are going to do a lot of shading for this. Little moss green and brown and white mix well. This is for the skin. Melons are low in sodium and very low in saturated fat and cholesterol. They are a very good source of dietary fiber, vitamin K, potassium, copper. Very good source of vitamin C and vitamin B6. 
Adding little yellow in orange, mix and color the first layer of the cut melon piece. Then add little more yellow to this for the third layer, yellow for the second layer. Adding a little red to the already mixed color for the fourth layer. Then a little brown for the next layer. Moss green for the layer next to the skin and then add a little more moss green to the color we used first for the skin, making it a little dark to show shadow on it. Same color to draw lines on the melon. Add little more moss green to this for the outline. Now we will add little lemon yellow to this for the skin, little brown for the stalk, light moss green for the seeds and the outline and we are done. And the last is cashew fruit, little brown and orange. I have spent my school summer holidays in Goa with my granny. We had a cashew tree at home. I used to look forward to have this juicy fruit which had a flurry scent. Adding little red to this for the other fruit, moss green for the leaves. Depending on how ripe the fruit is, its color can change from yellow to orange to bright red. Little white to moss green for the stalks. Little black and moss green in white for the cashew seeds. This juicy fruit contains copper, calcium, magnesium, potassium, iron and zinc. Adding little brown to show some crease on the fruit and then outline. Little brown and moss green to mark lines on the leaves and to outline. This fruit helps body make blood, keeps heart healthy and helps in weight loss. Outline the stalk and show markings on it. Little moss green in grey to shade the cashew seeds. White for light source on the seeds, the fruits and leaves. And we are done. We will let these dry for the next step where we are going to do distressing which will add a lot of interest to these spots. Taking little black, white and brown and adding little water to it mix well. We will cover the fruit painting with a paper. Use a soft toothbrush, dip and gently spray on the uncovered area. I sprayed on the mango as the fruit has some dots on it. Choosing black, brown or white or any two colors depending on what goes well with the color theme. I love to do distressing on most of my projects and we are done with this step and we let it dry very well. Now we seal our work with varnish. I'm going for gloss varnish for all the parts. Love this varnish. Got this from It's a Bitsy. You can use my coupon code HILDA5 for additional 5% discount. Link in the description box below. You can even add artificial flowers or plants. This is African Ivy. This is Rio. You can add a plastic bag to raise the level of the pot. This is Boston Fern, Aloe Vera. I hope you enjoyed this video and my choice of fruits. I have two fruit shots of pineapple and cherries. And do watch my most loved video on 5 ways to paint plastic pots. We'll add the links below. Do subscribe to my channel if you're new here. We'll appreciate this gesture. This is all for today. I will catch you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and I love you all.